Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm here to do another top 1000 this time since it's still summer for another couple of hours. I thought we could do some speed traps uh, because again once this goes into autumn, once this goes into winter or spring, we won't be able to do much uh, much speed traps or speed zones or, or anything like that because the ground is going to be really really wet most of the time. So it's going to be very difficult to get any sort of grip. So now it's summer, it's dry. I thought we could actually hop in and do some speed traps, but uh, for the start of this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I really want to talk to you guys about something very, very important um, that could impact my channel and pretty much everyone else's channel on YouTube at the moment. And honestly, much more than that, even just the internet. So if you guys want to listen to this, it's about a specific Article 13. If you guys have heard of it, if you guys have done anything that you can do to, to help it, then I guess you can skip ahead in the video to this point. You'll see it up on the screen. But... If you want to listen to me talk about this thing real quick, uh, just to let you know, if you guys don't know maybe about some certain things, uh, I really want to tell you guys about something like this. So, uh, yeah. So, if you guys don't know what Article 13 is, it was signed in by the European Parliament. So, yes, this has already passed. This isn't like something that is going to happen. This has already passed. This already is a thing. Uh, it just hasn't turned into a law just yet. So, once this thing turns into a law, it will end up changing the way you consume uh, entertainment on the internet forever. If it stays the way it stays like this. So until it does get changed, until it does get put as a law, it needs to go into its final form. It needs to actually be written out properly and then, and then set out as a law. But at the moment, if it is going to go live like this as a law, it will literally make YouTube shut down every European channel that it has, except for the massive, massive ones that are owned by giant companies and corporations. Those are the only ones that you'll see end up making videos or creating content or anything. This isn't only on YouTube. This is going to be on Facebook, on Twitter, any social media website, Instagram, whatever you guys listen to or whatever you guys watch, it will end up affecting it in some way, shape or form. It will either delete all of the content immediately or it'll make it so you can't watch any of your creators from the European Union. And that is one of the biggest things ever. And also the people from the European Union won't be able to watch anyone else outside of the European Union because it will contain copyrighted content as so they say. So the thing is with this, this article, the reason why YouTube is going to do this, I mean, they said it themselves because it they're liable to to literal like like breaking the law if they don't do this the the uh, the, the thing says that the company is liable for uh, the creators online on that platform uh, using copyrighted content and like what is considered copyrighted content because if i get to use someone else's song that they allow me to use right they give me the rights to use it but it's not my song i didn't create it i'll still get hit right i'll still get hit with that copyrighted thing and YouTube will end up suffering from it and not myself. So they have to shut down all the channels that uh, that are part of the European Union. So pretty much YouTube is going to become just a US and everywhere else in the world, US, Australia and Oceanic, all that sort of stuff. It's just going to become that sort of channel where nobody from the European Union can actually use it. So I don't know how that's going to work. I really don't know how it's going to happen. So for people, for giant, giant people, right, on, on YouTube, uh, massive creators that have created content for many, many years, even if they're not part of their European Union and they're American and Canadian, all that sort of stuff, they will end up losing their European followers. They will end up using their European audience, which is a lot of people. If you think about it, everyone in Europe just that used to watch your videos, they can't watch them anymore. Or everyone that used to make videos in Europe, everybody else cannot watch them anymore. They literally just stop their content. And it's a massive, massive thing. Uh, this could put so many YouTubers out of jobs. They, they're gonna like ruin people's careers. All this time and effort and 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 people literally just dropping out of school, dropping out of college to pursue something like this as their job as, uh, and as their career. Something like YouTube, for example, or Instagram, anything like that. Um, it will end up costing them literally their livelihood if this thing actually goes ahead and and changes changes the way the internet works. It lit it's it's going to be a literal censorship machine that uh, you can't upload anything to it unless it gets checked and if it's if the website doesn't allow you to upload altogether then i mean that's it you're screwed you can't just do anything at all um like uh, like the way you used to before so it's uh, it's a very very important thing if you guys 
want to help yourselves like I did. I don't know when I, I went off and I signed this thing. There is a petition. I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below. You guys can check it out. I will also leave another link where you guys can read more about this thing and, uh, and, and, and everything about it. I just don't understand why this is a thing that is happening. It is literally only going to benefit massive companies and it's not going to benefit any of the smaller creators at all. Anybody that's trying to make a come up, anybody that's trying to create a business of their own by doing online entertainment, it is going to be very, very, very difficult uh, because they're just not going to be trusted by these, uh, by the social media sites for them to not upload copyrighted content. And that's the thing. You get what I mean? So, I don't know exactly how this is going to get worded, but uh, uh, the whole thing, the whole legislation thing, it is going to probably get changed. Um, once it goes into a law, the whole writing and, and, and the text and the way the final form of it hasn't been written just yet. That's what I'm trying to say. So when we actually sign this thing, we give them an opinion. We tell them that we want this thing to be changed. We don't want it to go out the way it is written right now because it is literally going to ruin everyone's lives. So again, if you guys want to sign it, if you, got, if you want to help, the link will be down in the description box below where you guys can check it out and you guys can sign it yourselves. So uh, hopefully uh, you guys, if I influence at least like a hundred of you, I'm very, very happy with that. So I really do hope that uh, that at least some of you will, uh, will end up helping out. But yeah, let's get back to the video. All right, I swapped over to the Conic Snake. This is the car we're gonna be using for our, uh, our speed traps. I may need to change my gear ratio slightly because I feel like this thing can... Oh god. This thing is super twitchy at the moment. Careful, Audi. Not go too fast into this one. There's 181. I can definitely go a lot faster. There is one corner there that I could possibly try to take. I'll try to see if I can go this way, see which one's better. I feel like the other way is a little bit better. But we'll have to see. Don't know how I feel about this thing being rear wheel drive at the moment. Because I'm not really going that fast. Yeah, I think this way is a little bit better. It's just one corner here that I have to take. And then I just have to accelerate back up the speed again. So, as long as I can take that corner as fast as I possibly can... I don't even need that much of a run-up because this thing just picks up so much speed. So I need 198 miles per hour, or 196, wasn't it? Alright, let's put our foot down, let's kick this. Kick this down and go. One eighty-three. Oh, there he goes. It's upside down. That was pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Okay. Okay. There's one ninety-five. I feel like this one's a little bit easier. I feel like this was kind of easy to do. One ninety-five though is very, very close to top one thousand. I feel like I can attempt a, a little bit faster of a of our one on this one instead of just top one thousand. One ninety-five point seven. This is a lot harder than I thought. I've done it. That was just... It, it took so long. I had to keep... Uh, just, I don't even know what to say anymore. I've done it, though. Top 1000. I'm done. Right, let's just move on from that one. That was just annoying. That was just annoying to do. Let's have a look at this one here. Maybe we can do something better for this one. So 273 miles per hour is what people are getting here for this one. I'm definitely going to probably try to use my top speed one instead of this one that I'm using right here. Uh, but by the looks of things, people getting 270 miles per hour is something that this car can actually do that I have here. So this shouldn't be that much of a problem here. All right, let's just do this one. Why not? Why not do this one? 270 miles per hour to be... Well, actually, it's not 270 miles per hour to be... What is it exactly to get the top 1,000? I need to get 270... Around 272. Around 272.2. Let's put it that way. 272.2, and I'll get myself the top 1,000 in the world. So let's try that with this one. I feel like this car is that can actually put down some serious numbers anyway, so I'm, there's no reason for me to change to something else. I'll try to keep the transmission settings that I have right now for this as well. And we'll see how that works. Okay. Let's put our 
a foot down. How fast can I take this corner right here? Oh, it's barely a corner. All right, go. Go, Kodogzeg. It is slightly uphill at the moment here. And now it's downhill. 257. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Well, the other way is definitely better. Maybe I need to slow down. Maybe once I take this corner and I have to go downhill, instead of jumping it, maybe I should just use it as, like, momentum to accelerate. I think that's what I should probably try to do there. So 257 is what we started off with. This car can definitely do that speed. It's just... Again, I think I'm gonna utilize that downhill a bit. A little bit better. I don't know how fast it'll accelerate now, once I'm going downhill. Maybe I do need to get this thing to be as fast as possible at acceleration, so I'll probably get my my drag belt one. So this is slightly downhill here, right? So I, I, I am picking up speed. But if I let go of the throttle, right? There we go. And now accelerate. No, doesn't work that way. I have to go literally as fast as I possibly can, I guess, for this. Oh god, that was that was bad. Why did I decide to just like no slide into the ground? Okay, like him I need to position myself a little bit better. I'm trying not to steer as much, by the way, obviously, because if I do steer, it will end up slowing me down. So there we go. I'll leave it like this. Go. Oh come on, I have to I have to not steer. Okay, go. 271. Come on, man. I need 272 and I get 271. I feel like that's that's it right there though. So 271.14, 3,000 in the world. Okay, yeah, this is de it's definitely possible to do. Okay, that was perfect. That was literally perfection right there. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. What is happening over there? There's just some dude chilling there, and there's loads of cars in the way. Come on. Get that out of the way. Oh, please. I don't know why this nose dies into the ground like that. As well. It's kind of exact. Are you serious? I moved out of the way to the left side because there's a car on the right side of the road, and I went back too far, so now it teleported another car on the left side of the road instead. And now I pushed it to the right side. What is happening? What is happening? What's going on? It's not it. Even though I did hit 272, it's just not it. Ugh, I knew it. We have to hit 272.2. Or thereabouts. 0.2 something. Oh my god, but that's it though. I mean, I'm doing the right thing right now. It's definitely... It's definitely going the right direction. <laughs> I am very, very slowly increasing my speed. It is night time though. Come on. Come on. Please, please. Oh, this is a good jump. Oh, it's just the same as before. I got a 272.09 before. Literally the exact same. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what I could possibly do here. Yeah, I don't know what to do here to be able to position myself to get more speed. I I am completely clueless. I'm gonna try the other kind of thing. I'm gonna try my... My rampy one, I guess. The one that I used to to just go off ramps and have really, really good top speed. I'll just use that. I'll I'll, tr I'll give that a shot, all right? Just for the, for the sake of trying, because I know for a fact that none of my other cars will be able to do this um, the way the Cunning's Eggs actually do it. So I'll choose this one. It's fast, still very, very fast. Uh, it accelerates very quickly. It's also all-wheel drive, so it should accelerate very, very quickly out of corners. Um, like this. Might have off-road tires on it. This is definitely gonna handle differently. This isn't made to take corners. Oh god, this is completely different. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what was that? 
What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? What what did I just do? I'm I'm done. 147th in the world. Just just happily squeezed out a 273. No big deal for this car. It's just definitely able to do that. Okay. Yeah, cool. Uh huh. Right, I'm just gonna stop. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I, d I don't know what else to say now. That was it. It's uh, very interesting. What just happened? <laughs> I'm so clueless. What just happened? Why is this car that's literally built just to fly further? Just to hit off ramps better? Able to do that? I don't, I don't understand. How am I managed to just squeeze that, that score out? What an absolute monster. This is the first Conex I've built as well, by the way. This is literally just made to accelerate quickly. Out of, uh, out of like, small corners or just off the line. And be able to hit ramps. You guys have seen my tune for this thing. I've, I'm literally... I've literally tuned this thing just so I can hit ramps properly with the front end of it. Like, the front is just completely stiff. Maybe that's the thing here. I just need super stiff suspension on the front end. It's just ridiculous. It just does 273s all day. I can't believe I was struggling so much with the other Koenigsegg. That's, that's insane. I love this car. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you guys have watched the start of this video and you didn't skip past it, then I really do hope that you guys partake in that. And uh, I really do hope to see as much of a change as possible. Because if I want to continue, or if you guys want me to continue to be able to upload videos, that has to change. Or else my channel will li just literally get deleted by next year. And it's, uh, it's pretty insane. So, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope that uh, I see a lot of you in the near future supporting the content, supporting the videos, as you guys have done in the past, which I'm really, really thankful for. But yeah, anyway, top 1000 speed traps with the Conex eggs. This one apparently being the much better one for, uh, for top speed and, uh, well, obviously, I guess, some jumps. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.